barn. And so you put all three pigs in the barn and it's fun. Um, but anyways, okay, so we are live now here and there and I'm gonna flip the camera around right here on Periscope. So hey, for everybody that's at home, and I might actually break the YouTube video up into two. So Periscope people, if it gets a little weird sounding for a moment, that's because I'm going to maybe break up the break. Because I have a couple things here. So I have a Loot Locker. You can follow them on Twitter at The Loot Locker. Um, I'm sure, I, I mean, do you guys have a website for ordering? I don't even know. They're in on the Periscope right now, communicating with us, letting us know some things. Um, I think that this is a baseball loot locker. Can't remember which one I ordered, um, but I'm really excited to open that. It's going to be very cool. Um, I have a order here from Big Sports, B-I-G-G -G Sports. So I can't remember if that's Big's Daddy Cool. I think that he might have asked for my address recently or another friend from Michigan. Um, I know that Munson and I were talking too about something, so I'm not even sure which. Um, but then I've also got something from Party Animal Inc., which I believe is Lil Teammates. Uh, Ian at Lil Teammates uh, follows me on Twitter and said, hey, maybe we should send him a little something, you know? Um, yeah, go Cubs! Yeah, so this is my new Chris Bryant jersey that I got as a gift for my birthday from my friend John. He, uh, he wanted to get me something unique and special, and he got me an official Chris Bryant jersey. I actually kept the tags, the genuine hologram and everything. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Oh, nice. Langford, what, what jersey are you wearing? Cubs jersey? All right. So while we wait for people to get back to us on that, let's see what Lil Teammates is all about. I know they've got a line of figurines. Um, I think they've got a new one called Teeny Mates. Um... And let me tell you, Costco, these three-pack of Scotch scissors from Costco, the worst scissors. Um, I think it was it a, wasn't it a Nerdy Banks ball? Yeah, so Loot Locker has been growing, and one of the things they've been doing is adding more stuff to their lockers, more bonus giveaways that are randomly packaged into lockers if you subscribe. Um, so that's kind of a cool thing. And I know that they have Ultra Pro products in them as well, which is also very cool. And it's, uh, it's run out of the home. And we've seen a lot of businesses come and go in the industry, especially small businesses. But I respect what they've done. And But we'll get to Loot Locker in a minute. And I appreciate you guys tuning in. Right now we've got a bundle from Lil Teammates, which is something I've never done because I'm a player guy. If I'm going to go buy something, I want to buy some cards. You know, I want a chance to get my Chris Bryant or my Kyle Schwarber. Uh, you know, those sorts of things are some classic players. Um, so I'm not usually inclined to spend two or three dollars on a chance of getting a team that I don't care about. Absolutely. Without the extra chance for a team I do care about. But it looks like, uh, looks like Ian sent some really fun stuff. Thank you to the people at Little Teammates. And let me start showing this. So first off, we have some WWE. Is that, it's W. That's WWE, right, you guys? Um, and these are packaged, so I'm not sure who they are. But this is interesting because they don't have players on the others. They just have teams, I think, I believe that's how it goes, or somewhat player likenesses. But these are the actual likenesses. If you look close, you see, like, uh, Macho Man Randy Savage and The Undertaker and some other guys that are newer, so I don't know who they are. Um, so, man, how are we going to do all this? So maybe let's just, let's just rip these guys first. See who we got. I'm not sure if there's Andre the Giant ones, but there's a glow in the dark Undertaker and other rare figures. Crystal Clear John Cena, Alternate Macho Man, and the Rock Metallic Gold. That's one in 512 packs for the Rock Metallic Gold. That sounds pretty cool. Can you smell what the Rock is cooking? And these things are childproof, apparently. Hashtag being a grown man. It's like trying to open a bag of kettle chips. Those things are impossible. Seven hours later. At this point, at this point, it's a matter of pride. You know, there's no, there's no rip 
points on here either. There's no like little tear points. I will not get the scissors. I will not get the... Ain't nobody got time for that. I already lost two viewers just watching me try to open it. So, yeah. So we'll create our own little tear points. So it looks like there's a little booklet in here, probably a checklist. <gasps> Is that crystal clear John Cena? I don't think so. Maybe. Yeah, so we got collectible WWE figures. Oh, and so then there's a play set that comes in here. So you got a little ring that you can do. And side A, or no, oh, you can send in for this, I think, maybe. Maybe, because side A is a mini poster. So they've got the full checklist right here. So we can kind of see maybe who this guy is. Because, you know, I'm not the most current when it comes to wrestling. But, um, okay, cool. So there is a puzzle piece. There's two puzzle pieces. Oh, so the puzzles put together, see how it's two-sided? One side puts together the mini poster, and then the other side puts together the mat. So you can do the puzzle, and then you have the mat. And I got two of them. So there's two per thing. There is this guy. Who can tell me who this guy is? He looks to me like he is Big Show. Big Show. It's kind of small, but they call him Big Show. And then this one's wrapped in plastic. I don't know why the other one wasn't. Um, but this looks like a long-haired Brock Lesnar. Who is this guy? Do you guys know who this is? Oh, Rexford just farted. Um, oh, it's, it's Dolph Ziegler. Dolph, like Dirk Diggler, Dolph Ziggler. So... All right, so that's one. Let's get number two open. Just get cooking through this because we got a lot of stuff in this bag. Oh my gosh, we've already been on for like 10 minutes. Ha! Huh. You would like to report this with that jersey. Mr. PBR. So we got two more puzzle pieces. So again, oh, we got a corner piece. Um, inappropriate content. Just putting up with you guys as inappropriate content. So that's the ring. And here we have, ooh, this one's, this one, this guy's tough looking. This is Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Lesnar? Lesnar. And then we have, this one is uh, Brett Hart. Who are all these guys? Where's The Rock? Where's Hulk Hogan? Where's all those guys? Where's the names? Ultimate Warrior. Yeah, he's in here. Triple H is in here. Sting's in here. So they have the cool names. I just don't know who all this Bret Hart and Dolph Ziegler is. WWE needs to clean up their act, by which I mean get cool again. Yeah, who is who's Bret Hart? It's not even spelled that way. Eric did something wrong. Look, Eric did something wrong. I need to screenshot that. No, it disappeared already. Disappeared. Ah. All right, well, let's get on to the, the cool stuff like this. Oh, my gosh. So this is cool. So this is a little teammate's collectible figure. And this is Bears quarterback, Series 3. So they have quarterback, running back, and lineman. I'm reading this right on the back. And then they have them for all the different teams. Ah, so Ian probably knew, knew that I was a Bears guy. Um, my, I had a man card. Um, but no, it's not Jay Cutler. Look at that. It's, it's, it's not Jay Cutler. Thank God. Um, so this will be, this will be applicable for when the Bears sign RG3 or whoever. Um, TBP? What does TBP mean? Um, so that's pretty cool. Little Bears, little teammates guy right there. Um... Oh, so there's, okay, so he threw some more packs in here. So we have an NBA, tiny, teeny teammates. Yeah, Rex Grossman. Oh, man. Oh, those back pages, TBP, huh? We've got NFL. We've got NHL. Look at that. So they've got a whole bunch of these. So we're just going to, I'm going to have to fly through these like a breaker just for the sake of the video. Um, but let me show you the, the, oh, he knows me well. 
um, the next one. This one's cool though too. So this is a locker room set. So you know who one of the guys is, but the other two are a mystery. You can't see what the lockers are. So that's kind of cool. You got to open it up. Sorry, I'm looking at it, not even showing it to you guys. So there's cowboys on the front. So should I keep it as, should I keep it sealed or should I open it? What do you guys think? You can also find rare figures. There's the RoboMate and other rare figures, it says. So should I open it? Rip it. Open. These are the comments that I'm getting from people. Uh, no, <laughs> I guess open. Very true. Um, you know I'm going to open it. Come on. There's no such thing as a stupid question, except for the ones Ivan asks. Um, I'm actually in sales now, so I know there is such a thing as a stupid question. Always rip. Says the guy, don't you have like closets full of unopened wax, Eric? Mr. Always rip. All right, so let's see how this goes. All right. Ooh, skidursk, skidursk, skidursk. That's a good, good motto. When in doubt, rip. So this one, oh, so they don't actually show the team on the locker, though, like I thought they would. Because they did in the thing. Oh, maybe I got to open up that to get it. No, that's just a thing. Um, all right, so let's open the locker. So this is ironic that we're opening a loot locker, and these uh, teeny mates have teeny mates lockers. And inside we found a very angry raven. Rrr. I'm a raven. Rrr. Oh, Loot Locker, did we lose you for a minute? I was just saying that these teeny mates come in lockers also. So this is like the locker break. So we found a raven in that locker. We had a cowboy in the first locker. And now we have... Is that saints? We got another... We got an angry saint. Rrr, when I come marching in. Rrr. Hey, Fred, how's it going, man? So, so that's cool. Kind of a fun random component. And that includes a bench and a Gatorade bucket. So some fun, fun stuff there. Fun things for the kids. Oh, <laughs> hey Dunbar, how are you? Um, and I wonder if this has, if, do they coordinate it so that this has the stickers for the teams in there? Um, so let's see. So would I have ruined the surprise if I'd opened this first? No, so this has different locker stickers. So it's all completely random. So you got to get the stickers and the lockers of the players that you like. But then you can hang up the jerseys inside. So there's a Viking sticker. I put a cowboy sticker. <laughs> oh man, did you see the headline the other day? Tony Romo out six to eight weeks. I thought it was a joke. No, it was Sports Illustrated. He really is out six to eight weeks. It's the off-season, for crying out loud. So there's some more cool stuff in here, though, that I want to get to. First off, cream of the crop right here. Look at that. Little Cubs batter. Cubs batter. So that's going to be cool. So we got Cubs batter, and we got uh, uh, Bears quarterback. So I really love both of those. Thanks for thinking of me, Ian. And to cap it all off, too, we have <laughs> this is awesome. Um, we've got a water bottle. So apparently they make water bottles as well. 16-ounce character cup. Chicago Bears character cup. So that's pretty cool. And I wonder how you... Fill it. I think I'd be afraid to. Oh, oh. <laughs> Exorcist. Yeah, there you go. So it's a little small. The head doesn't actually hold space like you think. Um, so 16 ounces, but that's fun. So that's a cool little, cool little tchotchke there. Thank you, Ian. Um, so yeah, so that's the Teeny Mates box. Um, and you know what? We'll wait. Uh, no, should I rip these figures now? Let's rip these figures now. Let's see if any of them are the rare ones. So this is a this is a football one. They say find the Robo Mate and other rare figures. Uh, other rare figures include Glow in the Dark Series Four, um, Seahawks Throwback, Crystal Ice Figure, Redskins Throwback, and Metallic Gold Series Four. 
so this one looks like it has a puzzle as well that's a field on one side this is a really cool really well put together product have any of you guys opened these before anyone oh we got another angry raven and we got a ram an angry ram have any of you guys bought these before or played with these or any of you with kids like Brad do your kids play with these yeah apparently they're in the like and I feel like I've seen them hanging at the racks at uh, oh Curtis has 15 of them nice well if you need some puzzle pieces let me know junk wax twins so we have an angry cardinal I didn't have any angry panthers yet just keep that in mind angry cardinal and angry giant uh, do we have any Giants fans in here because just before this, spoiler alert, um, I recorded my first podcast with uh, Go GTS with Rob Bertrand, and um, we actually hit and we'll be giving away, giving away. We opened a box of museum collection, and there was a Phil Sims number to five that we hit that we'll be giving away at the Go GTS Live Twitter account. So, if you guys aren't following that already, you probably are, because it's um, actually a repurposed account from a previous endeavor of Rob's. Um, so there's a good likelihood you're following it. But yeah, so now we're back in uh, NHL. Let's just pour these out here. But yeah, and keep an eye out for Go GTS Live. Um, I believe the we did a live airing, but the video will also be up um, very soon. So these guys, I wonder if they're all goalies. Well, there's goalies. But then there's also rare figures. So we got an Islanders. Any Islanders fans? Do they have fans still or did they get rid of all of them? And then we have uh, Devils. So it's the New Jersey Long Island pack right there. And at this point I'm actually just throwing away the checklists because I'm trying to get through this and trying to keep my desk space semi-clean. Brooklyn? Brooklyn Islanders, Brooklyn Nets, New Jersey, New Jersey Islanders, New Jersey Jay-Z. Jay-Z owns the Islanders. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, we'll get to it. We'll get to it, Noah. Oh, so we got a Blackhawks guy. And this one actually says Chicago Blackhawks. A whole lot of work going into that helmet. See that fine print there. The bets, is that because they cheat on the... Uh, basketball not anymore Joey Crawford retired today so basketball is no longer fixed and we got the Edmonton Oilers Ooh. so this is fun so I got two basketball and two baseball to go Oop. so the basketball of course has a basketball court along with uh, this oh and they they got some fun looks on those some of them are angry some of them are dribbling so I got an angry Indiana Pacer. Uh, he's not actually the angriest. There's angrier. And I got an angry King, Sacramento Kings. Puzzle pieces. Got to find some kid that's trying to build that puzzle and mail him these puzzle pieces. Oy, my garbage is filling up here just from these packages. Bernie Sanders doesn't like this product. Oh, we got Golden State Warriors. Look at that Steph Curry. They don't call it Steph Curry, but I'm calling it Steph Curry. And then we've got Raptors. Raptors. So apparently they are all the same. Unless I'm crazy. But they all look the same. It's not looking like I'm getting different poses. But I know that those other ones had different poses. Or they had like quarterback, wide receiver, quarterback, running back, lineman. So, so now the big thing is these are baseball now. I got two baseball ones. I got the Dodgers. That's not, not horrible. It's kind of fun. And I got the Brewers. Milwaukee Brewers over here. Um, maybe I'll bring some of these to work and put them on my new desk. And this is the last of the teeny mates and then on to the loot locker. 
So, so far we've gotten a freeway series out of the Teeny Mates Baseball. We got the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. A little bit of that action. And then we end with, oh, I'll actually keep this one in the package for this summer. Minnesota Twins for Junk Wax Twins. There you go, buddy. Got something to give to somebody. So, so that's cool. Um, puzzle pieces. Brad, are you going to the National this year? Maybe I'll just... I don't feel like mailing anything, but... Um, where can I put this stuff? All right. So, toys going up here. Because we got to get to part two of the video. All right. Oh, there's the other puzzle pieces. Who's still here? All right, so, um, oh yeah, do it, Oz. So give me some hearts if you're still in the room, and then say hi, because we are going to transition into a new segment, and I want to see who's here. So, Junk Wax Twins, hey man. Oh, that's a fun, that's a fun excuse though, Brad, I'll accept that, even though I'm a Bears fan. Oh, sweet, Rick, oh, and the Loot Locker. So yeah, so this is Ivan at Watch the Breaks, live on Periscope, live on Twitter um, after the fact, so it's not live. Uh, we got a bunch of friends watching on Periscope, so if you see me talking to somebody, that's why I'm talking to them. Uh, and we have the Loot Locker here. So this is a subscription service um, run by a guy named Joel. Ow! Almost killed myself. Um... So yeah, it's a random collection of, I believe, hobby packs nowadays is what he's doing. Oh, also, you guys, if you want to help spread the word just a little bit, for me, not for Loot Locker, who cares? Um, oh, there's all our info, too. Uh, do me a favor. You can actually take a screenshot of Periscope, and you can share it to Twitter. So, so yeah, so they are hobby packs. So he goes through and buys the boxes to help aggregate, and I've seen people get some pretty big hits. So we know that they're actually, um, they actually are. So there's a lot of stuffing in this one, but that's fine because I actually have a box and I'm short if you could see what's up here on all these things. I've got a lot of box needs. So you also get a free box with it. It ships in a box, just has the loot locker look. And I believe it's like $19.95, so it's not like expensive. It's pretty much the price of a blaster and some free packing material for me for my next shipment. And we have a package of Ultra Pro materials. We've got some sleeves and some hard cases, so that's nice. So if we do hit anything, oh, in two different sizes too. We've got uh, we've got uh, typical size, and then these look like they're one point up. So if there's anything a little bit thicker, we can catch that. Oh, hey, Lefty Deuce just joined. Everybody say hi to Lefty Deuce. So also in the loot locker, we have double bubble and uh, Tootsie Roll, and I'm actually starving, so I'm gonna eat one of these Tootsie Rolls right now. Oh, nice. My friend Noah just said that uh, he used some of that exact bubble wrap today. Now, did you use some of the bubble gum, too? So, yeah, it looks like they're regular and 75 point. I couldn't remember what the base base point was. So, it's fun because, actually, you guys can't get the sensation, but I am smelling the double bubble right now. And it smells like opening an old pack of baseball cards. So now the pack. So there's four packs in this one, it looks like. So four hobby packs for, what, $19.95? And that includes shipping? Does that include shipping? Does anyone know? So our hobby packs are Topps Chrome Baseball with Chris Bryant. Bowman's Best with five Chrome cards. $20 plus shipping. And then we've got Bowman Chrome... Two packs of Bowman Chrome. Looks like Jock Peterson. So, pretty comparable to a blaster when you consider the supplies. Um, and then the fact that uh, you're getting supplies, a box, and hobby packs. So, very cool sort of, sort of idea. And it's been consistent, which is also the thing that's tough to, tough to count on. So we got Taiwan Walker. Taiwan. Tawan. Sorry, I'm eating Tootsie Roll now and it's getting in my way. Ooh, there's a good prospect. Eric Yagilio. Yagiello. I might meet this guy. Are the Yankees in Arizona? 
Is there spring training in Arizona? I'm going to spring training in two weeks for an event, so I'm pretty excited. Um, Panini's doing a big signing event down there. Pierce Johnson, my cub. And then we have Daniel Norris, who's actually a semi-PC guy for me, uh, except that I'm sad that he is no longer on the Blue Jays. And it seems like that happened early enough in the year that maybe, well, I don't know, when did, Chrome, not draft. These are Chrome. Yeah, so I'll excuse them this time. But that's actually a decent pack. Decent base pack. Just double checking to make sure that nothing's a refractor number that I'm missing. The Tootsie Roll's like stuck in my... I'm like chewing on this Tootsie Roll and I can't... Sorry, guys. Yeah, um, with GoGTS, we're doing a little thing there. They're letting us in. I told you, Noah, go follow GoGTS Live. We're giving away uh, Phil Sims Tops Museum Collection out of five at some point in the next day or two, whenever Rob Rob Bertrand gets around to that. So, so we have Edinson Volquez. Oh, hey! What's funny about this is I've hit a super low-numbered color of this guy before. It's not an auto, but it is a green, so it's numbered to 99 of Avisel Garcia. So we got a loot locker hit. 17 of 99, I believe it was. 74 of 99. So 74 of 99. Chicago White Sox. See that? Green. Green chrome. So that's pretty cool. It is a beautiful card. Uh, and then we got my guy, who's the one everyone's talking about this, this spring. Dan Vogelbach. Dan Vogelbach. Oh, I know. That looked cool, Noah. I was hoping it really came down to, like, I could make one one of one thing. Um, and I'm still hoping to sneak in that opening game against the Angels. And then Max Pentecost. So we got a loot locker hit for certain. And I got two Cubs players in my first eight cards. So, so that's fun. I still got two packs yet to go. Uh, hey, Mike. Um, I'm opening a loot locker. Where'd the box go? Have you seen these? The little, like, um, subscription service comes with some hobby packs, some supplies, comes in a box. Lots of fun. And I hit a uh, number to 99 out of Bowman Chrome of Vesel Garcia, which, again, is funny because I hit an out of 25 um, red ice of him two years ago in Bowman. So I guess he's trying to tell me something, like you hit guys often that aren't very good. Deal with it, White Sucks fans. Rob made a joke about how he's bisexual because of the fact that he likes both Chicago teams. Um, so we have some Topps Chrome here. So we have Mike Napoli. We have Corey Kluber. I'm looking at the number to see if there's anything special. Justin Morneau. And Brandon Crawford. So nothing overwhelming in that pack, but it happens. And then we end with a Bowman's Best from 2015. And this is a slightly, uh, um, go for it, man. It's your loss. It's not like you were going to give it to me. Where are you? Um, and Brian, I think that I saw a thing from Bishop in there. I'm not sure. Is this you, Big Sports in Michigan? Is that from you, Bishop? Or were you in the last mail day? I get, um, sorry, I'm, I'm peeking ahead now. Um, so we have Miami Marlins, second baseman, D. Gordon. Oh! Double hit action. Loot locker, double hit action. And this one is a good one, though it, I don't think it's numbered. Look at that. So I have to say thank you to the Loot Locker for hooking me up with a really good prospect auto. Alex Jackson of the Seattle Mariners. I don't know how they did it. I don't know how they got it in mind. But this is a month for loot. The Loot Locker. So that's very cool. So double hit action in my Loot Locker. God, the surface on this is terrible. There's, I mean, it's not that the surface is terrible. It's that there's all sorts of, like, fuzzy um, from the edge of the cards, but yeah, I know, I know, I, I should have shown you how unsealed the pack was, um, 
No, that's crazy. On card, I love it. Kind of looks like Jorge Soler's autograph a bit. Not the not the most um, most impactful autograph, but still, that's a good one. Um, Yasmani Tomas. I was gonna say if it was rigged, I would have gotten that super fractor that was hit by somebody else. Um, Eric Hosmer. Tomas, that's a rookie card. I should protect that also. These are actually really cool cards, too. I never got to open any of these this year. And then Raphael DeVere's um, Prospect, right? Um, these are, these are kind of cool cards. They've got a nice thing. So that was the Loot Locker. And guess what? I've got the supplies right here to go ahead and um, just put this right into protection. This Alex Jackson. How many of you guys, when you put your cards into sleeves, accidentally dent the corners of the cards? Sometimes it happens to me when I'm putting the card just into the sleeve. Kind of happened with my Schwarber uh, Tops vintage stock. Retweet if you've done this. So yeah, so there's that Alex Jackson. Um, God, I still got that uh, Tootsie Roll in my mouth. It's just like stuck up against two teeth. Guess what? These are getting fixed. Went to the dentist on Monday. They put some goo in my mouth and they're turning it into a teeth fixing machine thing. Oh, come on. What's wrong with, what's wrong with that? Come on. Do it. Actually, it's not working with this one. It's like these cards are like 0.55 point. They're just a little too thick or something. Mm. Anyway, so those are the two hits from the Loot Locker. Very cool. So we had some fun with Loot Locker. We had some fun with Teeny Mates. Lil Teammates. Teeny Mates. And then I've got this from Big Sports. B-I-G-G -G Sports. So let's... Uh, Let's see, and I feel like this could be one or two people. It's coming from Michigan. And I know Munson, Munson's in Michigan. And Big's Daddy Cool. And there's no name with it either. But there's two blasters in here. So this is the most random thing. There's two Tops blasters in here. So we'll go ahead and open these, but I need to... DM some people and find out who this is from. I'm gonna guess it's gotta be Big's Daddy, Big Daddy Cool, because there's Big with two G's on the name of this. So, so that's very cool. If so, um, but I got two random blasters to open, so let's do that on camera. Um, yes, 2018. Eric is correct. Uh, no, actually, uh, for those of you who don't know, I started a regular full-time job. I sort of had to shut down my company that I had been running for the last couple years. So right now I'm acclimating to that, but I'm hoping to, my goal for season two specifically is, uh, one, actually we're finishing up the DVD right now and I'm trying to do something special for all the people that gave on Kickstarter that made it all possible, where we're actually putting a, we're editing a gag reel together for the DVD. Um, so as soon as that's done, we'll have the DVD done. We'll get the cards signed for those people that are getting signed cards of people. Um, I can actually show you a little preview right here. So like here's 1990. Um, Grandpa Giacomo is not really a cool card. There's Rexford. And this is actually my one of one set. I have it out separate. There's Sienna. Um, there's Deanna. So we have those that we're going to be sending out to people. So I'm hoping by July... Because my goal, too, is not to shoot them one at a time like we did before. Is anybody even still listening? I'm just rambling. Um, but, yeah, this is about when the next chunk of the breaks will come out. Um, I want to shoot them all at once. Like, take five days off, get everybody to do it, everybody to shoot it. That way it's not like, oh, hey, we lost the audio for that episode that we shot that day two months ago. Because we do it all at once and we do it right. So I really want to plan it properly. So that if we announce it in 2016 July, 
we have it all out by January 2017 or December 2016 or something. Yeah, I mean, it's the way it should be done before because my previous job, I would have a guaranteed month off or, or day off, sorry. Oh, somebody's going to be happy because this is getting given away. Joe Maurer, medallion. I just had somebody on Periscope say, hit Maurer, and I hit Maurer. So that will be going to them. I believe it's Junk's Wax Twins who gets all my twins anyways. So it'll you'll get that in July, August. August. The Nationals are actually all the way in August this year. Um, but yeah, that's fun. I like those fake metal cards. But yeah, so that's the plan for the breaks. First off, too, is fulfill my obligation to all the generous people that helped support us on Kickstarter. Um, I have t-shirts, I have cards, I have everything done except for the DVDs now. And since we have all the footage, we can do that. So I got a Yankees team card. I got a Harold Baines. Um, I got a Jimmy Fox. I got a Caleb Cowart rookie card. From series one, Kurt Suzuki, Odubel Herrera, and Houston Street. Oh, he's just a friend. He's been a friend for a while, so I know he's somebody that, like, you know, I know well enough that that's, that's what happens with cards I don't care that much about. Plus, I know I'm going to see him in person, so it's going to save me on shipping. I'm a little selfish that way. Um... Were you talking about that, or were you talking about the, the Breaks cards? The Breaks cards are for the Kickstarter backers that supported us almost two years ago when we first launched. Um, so, Zach Lee, rookie card. Uh, Christian Yelich as Drupal Cabrera. Yeah, so we had a lot of people that actually gave money to help make the series possible, so we could do things like shoot on Santa Monica Boulevard. Oh, I got a Refractor shiny card. Shiny card, Christian Yelich. And I got a Dwight Gooden, Major League Baseball debut. And I got a Conforto All-Star rookie right after that. Is that one of the special ones or no? 7075, same back as everything else. Roaned Order, Michael Bourne, Yordano Ventura. There you go. Eric, have you collected this entire set yet? Do you build do you build tops base set? I know, right? Oh yeah. Nothing worse than when you try and rip it along the seam and you don't do it right. Oh, how's your heritage set coming along? So we got Adam LaRoche, Lance Lynn, Wade Miley. Jake Arrieta, Garrett Cole. Oh, here we got one of those perspectives. Troy Tulowitzki, though it actually looks more like a card of the Royals guy there. Kind of hard to see him. EPAC. Oh, we got a Gabrielle Giffords first pitch at City Field card. That's cool. Little gold foil on the bottom that says where the pitch was at. Ooh, sign up on tops to rediscover. I got a I got a 50 cent discount here. Uh, John Lamb, rookie. Look at that tat art. Isn't that pretty awesome? Um, is that, they should do a tattoo parallel. That'd be cool. Um, Marcus Simeon, Jesse Hahn, and Matt Whistler. For those of you, if any of you watched the last time I broke, um, or the only time previously that I broke, uh, Tops Series 1 this year. I hit a Kyle Schwarber rookie card, and I was excited because um, it was his rookie card, and I got it. And then after I turned off the video, I was sorting through the packs, and I was like, oh, this one feels weird, and I flipped it over. Um, and it was actually what a numbered to 99 vintage stock. I would show it right now, but Mike has it in Vegas. He actually did a grading, a group grading. Um, oh, so that John Lamb guy with the art that I showed you? This is the gold parallel, only out of 26, 2016. Um, it is card number 28 out of that, though, which is pretty low numbered for one of those. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's the gold parallel. See how it's got the stuff along the edges? 
I was wondering, I haven't seen any of the actual parallels like that, only the vintage stock, which you can tell because you can feel. It feels like a heritage card. Uh, Miguel Cabrera, Luke Hochevar, Todd Frazier, Trevor Bauer, uh, blah, blah, blah. No Cubs. But yeah, so it was off video that I discovered that I had a numbered to 99 Kyle Schwarber. Um, so I sent that in to get created. And it, I had a feeling it was going to be a 9 because it had a slight corner dink that I made slightly worse when I was putting it in the uh, in the sleeve. So that's why I mentioned that. Oh, hey, here we got a Cub. Starling Castro with a wide vision type card. Um, Salvador Perez. Oh, I almost I thought that, that was like a buyback or something, but it's one of those burgers bests of Cal Ripken. Oh, here's one that I don't have yet. Chris Bryant, Wrigley Field. And that's actually Wrigley Field card number one, W-R-I-G-1. So that's one of the Chris Bryants from the set that I don't have. I also don't actually have the base Chris Bryant. So that's going right over there. In fact, I might put that into something right now. Oh, this is a good pack. Jock Peterson, Future Stars. Look at that. Jimmy Paredes and Kevin Segrist. Chris Bryant, in case you don't know, is the guy whose jersey I'm wearing right now. Compliments of my good friend John. Got it for me for my birthday. Yingveris Solarte, followed by Juan Lagaris, Carter Caps, CC Sabathia, back to back Biggio Bagwell, and a Cal Ripken. And an Angel Pagan that looks like it's a parallel because of all that green that's in it. Let's see if it actually is. No, it's not. That's just the actual scoreboard behind him. So that's just the picture selection. Um, kind of interesting. Drew Hutchinson, Jake Peavy, and Chase Utley. Suspended. Not suspended. Come on, baseball. Get with the times somewhat. Why'd you yell Suze? What's going on? What did I miss? Why'd you yell Suze? Because I threw one of her cards? Uh, look, Eric comes back in and I get another Met. Travis Darno, Steven Souza Jr., New Order, Mike Moustakis. Oh, this is a double for me. I have a double of a good card from the set that I like. Chris Bryant, Anthony Rizzo, back to back. Look at that. Chris Bryant. So that's my second Chris Bryan insert. Got a Robinson Cano Perspectives. Now that's a cool Perspectives card. Uh, Francisco Liriano, Sin Su Chin, and, and Devin Travis. Another one of my PC guys. As well as John Neese. Thank you. Yeah. No, I'm loving that. Second, second Cubs insert in this blaster. So thank you, Big Sports. I hope that's Big Daddy Pool. And Bishop, are you still in here? I wanted to answer your question, but I can't. I can't remember. I don't know. You'd have to. I'd have to look back at the video. So Billy Burns, Henry Uritu, Uritia. I don't even know who that is. You're not getting a sleeve, buddy. We got Bernie Williams, Major League Baseball debut, and then we got Royals Blue Cheese sticker promoting the Wacky Packages, which actually just came out. Any of you guys open any uh, Wacky Packages yet? Uh, Trace Thompson rookie card. Rob Refsnyder rookie card. So a couple back-to-back -back potentially good rookies, as well as an Aaron Nola rookie card. So anybody uh, into Wacky Packages? You see that? See that they got five player autographs in there that it's like, oh, who do we have stickers of that we can throw in to increase value? But they also have mascot autos and ticket stubs and some, some kind of cool stuff in there. Scott Feldman, Miguel Montero, Annabelle Sanchez, Brad Ziegler, Glenn Perkins. We got a gold, or I guess it's not really. That's just uh, Alex Rodriguez, Burger's Best reprint, maybe? Is that what you would call that? J.J. Hardy. Oh, you know what? If that's a Hardy, I wonder if one of these is a SP then of some sort. Well, you wouldn't have an SP of Glenn Perkins. Yeah, no. No, it's only one insert in that pack. Here I am crying about it. Greg Bird. Does he deserve a sleeve? Greg Bird rookie card? I don't know who he is. First baseman. We know how first baseman pan out for the Yankees. 
<laughs> uh, thank you, Eric. Eric, are you going to the National this year? Does this guy deserve a sleeve? Kevin Plawecki? Uh, Andrelton Simmons for the Braves. AJ Pollock. What about this Jamoke? Bryce Neckbeard. Does he deserve a sleeve? I'm actually on his side in this whole argument. I don't think guys should be beaning guys. I think they should be able to use the inside of the plate properly, but I don't think they should be intentionally beaning guys. And I think there's a way to throw really close to intentionally beaning a guy without really intentionally beaning him. Now this makes it really fun. You gotta love any time you get a satchel page. That's a good card. I like that. That's getting a sleeve. Uh, another Corey Kluber, Josh Hamilton, Evan Gaddis, Hanley Ramirez. Are you guys tired yet? I hope not, because we got one more. We got one more. Yeah, another goal is to someday get to visit the Negro League Museum um, in Kansas City. And they have a great Twitter account. They're always posting baseball history. Um, so you should follow them. It's actually under, like, the guy who runs it has it under his personal. So it's like NLB Museum Prez, like, because it's the Negro League Baseball Museum, I think. Um, but you should look them up on Twitter for sure and follow them because they're really a fun history of baseball account um, and very wonderfully interactive. So let's fold these up and get them out of the way. And it's a good thing I got this loot locker because I got a lot of singles that I'm going to need to put away. Need to get my teeny mates. Maybe I should put the little teammates right back here on the shelf next to Chris Bryant. Look at that. Ooh, here's a fun medallion. So I wish that it were a parallel of some sort, but Mike Trout medallion. I like these, and they're really heavy. They're so, so nice. I don't think there is a Buxton medallion. There's a Maurer medallion. Stop being uh, selfish, Stefan. Choosers can't be choosers. Um... Yeah, like I like that in football, I know that they've done a lot of parallels. I feel like on here, the the baseball medallions, though, don't have parallels this year. Um, or at least they don't advertise that they have parallels. So, anyways. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just don't think that you can magically make cards that weren't produced uh, be hit. Like a Buxton medallion. All right, so Ryan Howard, Alex Gordon, Carlos Gomez. Oh, so now we got another gold, and this time it's Rob Refsnyder, number 126 out of 2016. So that's kind of a decent card. That's a sleever. You can either sleever or lever. What will it be? Cal Rifkin Perspectives, uh, Zach Granke, Ketel Marte, Brian Johnson, Oh, Alex, come say hi to Eric and Eric and them. Oh. You guys want Alex to come say hi? Come on, Alex, come say hi. Yeah. Yeah, she's got a little dog hair on her. Yeah, Eric just said, yeah, exclamation points. She's fixing her hair. She'll be over in just a second. I mean, honey, you're next to me. You're going to look beautiful. You got to get all the way in, so, because that's the, the YouTube and that's the thing. So, oh, he just made everybody's day. Angela says, says well, Angela says, yay. I thought it said, yeah, or yeah, yeah. Loot Locker says hello. Everybody says hi. Everybody loves Alex. It's funny, in my new job, too, I meet with a bunch of clients. Um, card of the year, right here. Look at that bat flip. And every single one of them, like, reminds me how lucky I am of Alex. It's like, like I don't know, but it's awesome, and I love her. Oh, hey, we got a uh, refractor, or chrome, or whatever they call these, of Miguel Montero. My much better half, right? Uh, she lets me be 30% since she's 70%. Um, so that's cool to hit a cub color, even though it's unnumbered. Foil board. There you go. Again, in our debut episode of Go GTS Live, I said, I'm like, you know how in movies they have the lead, the main character doesn't know anything so that the other characters can explain it to him, and that's actually how you explain to the audience? That's me on the show. I'm like, I'm sitting there next to Rob Bertrand, and I'm like, who's Bret Hart? Is he the lead singer for Hart? 
Uh, right now, you don't even want to know. David Murphy. And a free pack, a free bunt pack. Who wants that? DM me if you want that on, uh, DM me on Twitter if you want that. No, she just died. She just died and Michelle Obama went to her funeral. All right, so we got Panda Bear, John Hicks, Johnny Cueto, World Series. Here's a cool card. I wish that this was a buyback. How cool would that be? Burger's best, Jackie Robinson. I don't care. If, uh, I don't care what you feel about buybacks. If this was a 1956 Jackie Robinson buyback with a stamp on it, I don't care. I'd be totally happy. Um, got a Jake Arrieta of the Wrigley Field insert, so that's cool. Um, Russell Martin, Eddie Rosario, Sonny Gray, Trey Turner. Yeah, so who, who here likes buybacks and who here despises buybacks? Or who here tolerates them and who here despises them? Got real quiet real fast. Hate. There we go. Kevin Gaussman, John Lester, Papelbon, Ben Revere, Francisco Cervelli, Bill Mazeroski, Burger's Best. Jose Altuve, Kyle Hendricks, Mitch Moreland, and Jeff Francoeur. Yeah, these bur every time I hit a Burger's Best, I'm like, oh, it's a Burger's Best. But man, that would be cool. They're probably impossible to hit in retail, but... Chris Colabello, Mike Zanino, Mitch Moreland pressed into service. Got a Justin Upton Major League Baseball debut. And here's a good future star. Thor. Noah Syndergaard. Taylor Youngman. Oh, I should double check just because of the position in the pack. Make sure that that's not something special. Yeah, 7075. Blaine Boyer, Wilmer Flores, Matt Shoemaker. I don't know who those, who those guys are. One guy's wearing a Twins jersey, but yeah. Go Cubs, go! Gotta admit, that Cubs song, pretty dorky. Ain't gonna lie. Thanks, it's amazing. We actually still have all, like, nine of you in here. That's most of the people that tuned in at any point. That's a good Yasiel Puig card. Love him or hate him. Deal with what's gonna happen to him. And here's a George Springer. Also a good, good card. Oh, got another Buxton Perspectives. That's cool. Victor Espinoza, first pitch. Got another 50 cent coupon for Tops. Andrew McCutcheon, JP Howell, Adam Wainwright, and Yadier Molina. Yadier. There have been three cards thrown in this endeavor. I've actually been taping for 53 minutes. Oh my god. This is why it took me so long, and I feel really bad because the Teeny Mates package got here last week. Uh, the Loot Locker got here at the beginning of this week, but it's just like, God, taking an entire hour off of getting stuff done these days. I'm taking swim class, guys. I'm up at 6, I'm up at 5.15 a.m. Tuesday, Thursday to go swim for an hour at the uh, Beverly Hills Swimming Pool, the one that uh, George Bailey fell in. Yep, Ivan the Fish. I like Coughlin. Oh, here's a base Mauer. Ryan Lamare. Rookie card. Chris Davis. Giancarlo Stanton. MLB debut. Ryan Goings. Zimmerman. Montero. Gardner. And Jed Lowry. So, yeah. So, I'm trying to, trying to do it well. And I'm not... I don't look that skinny right now. But I am skinnier than I was a week ago. That's for certain. Um, it's a challenge though, definitely a challenge in a high stress job. Josh Donaldson, AJ Ramos, Ramos, it's weird that card feels extra thin. We got a Jock Peterson, Adrian Gonzalez back to back. We got a Ryan Braun debut and then we got the Tea Party Bags Wacky Packages um, sticker. Jared Salata Namanacha. Alex Dickerson, Pat Neshek, Oliver Perez, and Hector Olvera. 
Oh. Who's going to be the big rookie this year? Like, who's going to win rookie of the year? Somebody that everyone expects. Somebody that's is it going to be like that Hector Olvera guy. Someone no one expects. Is it going to be Mikel Franco? He might have played too many games already. Brett Lowry, Matt Holliday. So here's a cool perspectives. Gregory Polanco, and he's wearing camouflage, sliding into home. Is that home? Yeah, because the catcher, unless the catcher ran out to one of the bases. That's a cool card. And we have a walk-off with Manny Machado celebrating. Yeah, but <laughs> Stefan, we know that he's not going to play more than 30 games in a season in his career, so. He's, he's the Tony Romo of baseball. Byron Buxton out six to eight weeks for mowing his lawn. Sorry. I know you like him. I know you have hope for him, at least. But. Uh, Brandon Phillips. Ooh, here's my guy. Cole Calhoun. Love this guy. Um, Hunter Pence. Detroit Tigers. Comeback Kids. Yankees versus the Power Switch. Albert Pujols. See, even Oz knows, and he's in a country where they play cricket. Dario Alvarez. I like him just because he looks cool and has a cool name. Seth Smith, and then the last pack of all of this is Kevin Kermeyer. So that was super cool. Thank you, everybody, for sticking around. Guess what? All of these tops base are going in my loot locker box. Um, I'm not going to tell you what Buxton is actually Greek for. Uh, so thank you all. Thank you very much. Uh, make sure you follow on Twitter at watch the breaks. Uh, somebody DM me if you want that uh, bunt code. And um, yeah, that's that's about it. I love you guys. You're awesome. Thank you. This was a nice break in my now work week. And I miss you. I wish that I had more time uh, outside of work. So I'm going to do that and also put this back on because that's important to me. Um, thank you guys so much. Stay, tr stay on Twitter and keep tweeting. Um, even if I don't always respond lately, I love seeing your, your conversations and being a part of them. So I know it got all sappy there at the end. But uh, good night. And good night, Mrs. Akmonic, wherever you are.